Now we're going to go through this fairly quickly, but I do have a heap of links down in the description. Have you ever wanted to slow down or perhaps even speed up a YouTube video? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and I have a problem. I'm a fast talker. I have to deliberately try to slow down my speech because when I get excited and passionate, I just talk really fast. And that can be difficult to understand for some folks when I'm explaining things in tutorial videos here on the channel. So I wanted to show you a couple of cool tricks on your mobile and your desktop YouTube devices so that you can actually slow me down. Or if I'm rambling like I am right now, you can speed me up. Let's take a look. So first of all, on our desktop, how do we change our playback speed? Well, you'll notice that down in the bottom right here, there's a bunch of little icons here. The one that we want is this little settings icon. If we click on that one, we get this menu with cool things like autoplay, annotations, subtitles, your quality, and then this one, playback speed. If we click on playback speed, we can actually reduce the speed anywhere from 0.25, a quarter, a half, three quarters, or we can increase it. So if you're finding me difficult to understand, in this video, as a lot of folks have, we can drop it down to say 0.75. Let's do that now and hit play and take a listen. To complete reviews and a lot more information about USB audio interfaces and mixes and all. Now to some folks that might sound a bit funny, but if I'm explaining some technical sort of detail and you're finding it difficult to keep up, it can help. And not only that, but you can set your own custom speed. If we click on the settings icon again, we go to playback speed. If we click on custom, we can dial in a custom speed. So if you want it to be, say, a little bit slower, but not too slow, we can put this to say 0.9. And then if we hit play on that one. Also, a bunch of links to where you can actually purchase some of the devices that I talk about here and those now you'll notice that the audio quality does change because you can't really change the speed of audio without impacting the quality. So you will lose a bit of audio quality, but it may help you understand. Now, what if Pete is rambling on and you want to speed things up? Get to the point, Pete. Well, guess what? We can do the same thing. Let's go back into playback speed. This time, let's speed me up. And a lot of folks find that if you're listening to a podcast or a longer form video, going up to something like 1.25 can really help. Let's take a listen now our affiliate link so you'll be supporting the channel as well as getting some cool new gear. So we'll start with the simpler of the two devices which is our USB audio. So there you go if you'd like if you've got the sort of brain where you just want to kick get to the point and go through then you can actually do that as well. So you can change that and you can go anywhere from 0.25 all the way up to two times. So if you want to hear me at twice my normal speed and I have no idea why you would you can do this. Your interface. So what an audio interface does is it takes a signal an analog signal so a microphone or a line level signal from a guitar or an instrument and then it Pretty cool options though, yeah. So if you want to speed me up or slow me down, that's how you do it. Let's dive over to the mobile YouTube and take a look at how we do it over there. So here we are in the YouTube mobile app on my iPad and it works very much the same on the iPhone or even an Android device. So this time when we're here in our playback screen, where we want to look is up the top right. It's these three dots called an ellipsis. We're going to tap on that one and we've got similar options here. We don't have quite the same level of flexibility because we don't have things like custom speed. But if we come down here to playback speed, we can tap on that one. And again, we can choose anything from 0.25 up to 2x. So if I'm taking my time and you want to get to the point we can turn me up let's say we want to make me 1.5 so you've seen this before and you know how to connect things then we hit play this is what it sounds like and this one is actually going to go into our lightning to usb3 adapter plug that in like that and then this whole thing is going to plug into our ipad Air. so if you've set up before and you want to make sure that you know you're not going to miss something important but you kind of know what you're doing you can go up to that speed if you want to slow things down because maybe it's your first time you've ever connected a usb device to your ipad well then you can slow me down so we can again tap on playback speed again we've only got these set ones we don't have the custom ones here on the mobile app but we can go 0.75 and then i sound like this yeah too so that is now providing all seven of these usb ports that can now be used to connect all of our Pretty cool, yeah. So this is great if, again, if I'm speaking too quickly or if any video that you're watching, you're not able to understand what they're going through and it's something technical, you can slow it down. If they're not getting to the point, you can speed them up. Before I ramble any longer, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you found this useful, whether you're on your mobile device or your desktop device. Watching YouTube can be a breeze when you change your speeds. See you next time.